<laughs> hey, Tiff, here you go. You know how it's been with basketball because of my wrist. Hey, Tiff. We can't wait for your wrist to be better. It's just not the same without you on the court. Good job, Allie. Way to go, Mom. I'm pretty sure it's not you. Um, Tiffany's wrist is a sore subject in more ways than one. We had a terrible experience at the hospital and she's still very upset. I'm on the board of the health system, which includes our hospital. What happened? I, I didn't know that. Well, to be honest, your nurses can use some sensitivity training and the ER doctors can learn how to read x-rays. Please tell me what happened. Uh, our hospital really strives to provide good care. I, and when patients and families feel we don't deliver, we need to know that. Well, you know about the girls' rollerblading incident. Those two are gonna age us faster than we'd like, no fear. We're lucky it was just scrapes and a sprain. Well, that sprain is a broken wrist. And she has to have surgery now because they missed the hairline fracture. Oh. I know x-rays are sometimes unclear and tricky to read. If it was indeed a misread, it's important that our staff knows they missed something. We have a process in place to review possible misdiagnoses. Did you file a complaint? The complaint is a whole other issue. I'm still swallowing the fact that she's gonna miss the rest of the season. Oh. I haven't been able to break the news to her yet, so please don't tell Allie. You know how the girls talk. Hey, hon. Kathleen, I'm so sorry to hear about your experience at the hospital. Judy's on the hospital board. Uh, she wanted to know what happened. I basically was dismissed as her mother because our skin color isn't the same. As a board member, it's really helpful to hear about how our patients experience care. Can you tell me more about what happened? Yeah, um, we were answering the nurse's questions about um, at her follow-up orthopedic appointment. And I mean, everything was going fine, all things considered, until the nurse looked at all three of us and then said, her mother will have to sign off on the surgery too. Tiffany started crying, she ran out the room. It was a bad scene and she's old enough now where she gets it. I called to file a patient complaint about the nurse's cultural insensitivity, but I just felt like everybody I talked to didn't care, mm. that it wasn't gonna go any further than that. I didn't realize you were on the board. What do you do exactly? I'm on the quality committee of the board. This means I oversee management's work to ensure safe, respectful, and excellent care for every patient. It also means when care falls short or when people have a bad experience like you've described, that we have processes in place to understand and learn from them and respond appropriately. There are so many issues tied to just our situation. I <laughs> missed the fracture in the ER, and this could affect our future in athletics. How do we know this won't happen to someone else's child? It sounds like you have three issues. The first is Tiffany's injury and the possible misread of the x-ray. The second is the disrespect you felt in your meeting with the nurse. It also sounds like you felt our patient complaint department wasn't empathetic or able to assure you that someone would be accountable. That sounds pretty close to spot on. Yeah. I'm so grateful that you've shared this. And I'm concerned about Tiffany. We really want every patient to feel respected and confident that they're getting excellent care. When we don't deliver, everyone is disappointed. I understand the x-ray issue might be a little gray. I work in IT, so I get technology, but they sure treated us with disrespect. I'd like our quality team to have the opportunity to learn from your experience and allow them to include the diversity training staff too so they can see where we might have opportunities for unconscious bias and sensitivity training. Can I ask you to summarize what you've just told me and submit a formal complaint? Send a summary to me in an email too. I wanna be able to follow up with our quality leadership and get their next steps. I'd be happy to if you think it'll help. I do. Board members don't normally get in the middle like this because we have processes in place to respond to patient complaints. But 
It seems like our patient complaint department fell short this time. I'd like to help you bring your experience to management's attention. And to your point, Anthony, to ensure that we have leadership commitment to see that this doesn't happen anymore. Thanks for listening. It feels like just telling somebody who knows our family and cares about our family feels like a weight's been lifted. I mean, Tiffany's starting to become more sensitive to how people view our family. This is gonna teach her that she can take action and stand up for the way people treat her. Yes, and our girls are teaching us too every day. Mm -hmm. And thank you, I'm equally grateful that you've shared this experience. Quality is treating every patient with respect.